Hey everyone, I'd like to share from the similar to once more. Bring you a 1 vs 1 vs 1 on the Fortress map, so it should be interesting indeed. Last time I uh, had a look at a replay on this map was um, when it was 1 a human opponent vs 2 computer opponents, and uh, yeah, it was kind of plain to say the least. Um, the AI in this game is not the greatest. I mean, it's alright for maybe, you know, practicing when you're first starting out and all that, but really. The stuff you see human opponents do is a bit. Um, Better to say the least. But anyway, thankfully this time we've got actual people playing on this map, and uh, yeah, given that it's a bit of a rare map to begin with before, well, why not uh, do a nice little commentary on it? So, anyway, at the bottom we've got uh, Bavdav as the Necrons, we've got at top right Mavel as the uh, Tau, and top left we've got a Virus as the Tau as well. So, uh, what the hell, we just switch to. Um, what the hell, screw it, just keep it on about that for the time being. So anyway, having a look at what everyone's building, looks... Oh, okay, I've got to see a bit of a, um, a different build from Avel compared to the uh, conventional style that town players normally would go with. So it's actually going to be going first of a crude carnivore squad, and I'm presuming they're keeping them here. Okay, never mind, I thought they are going to keep them behind to wait for the uh, fire warriors to support. But, uh, okay, I guess they're still going to do that. So yeah, looks like they're going to be going for a little melee squad backed up by an... Standard range squad, and as a virus, he is not going for anything. It'd be funny if he goes for a quick tech up or something like that. Which I suppose wouldn't be entirely unexpected for this sort of map, given that these two players are closer to each other than they are to this um, third player. But you think virus would still go with something coming, but he's only got a couple of stealth suits, which of course you can't see because they're invisibly capturing points and all that. But anyway, he's only got a couple of stealth suits out. Nothing special coming out. At all, so he's just got the barracks. Ah, there we go, finally. That's interesting. I could swear I clicked on that before, but anyway, he's got two squads of Fire Warriors coming out instead. And here we go, speaking of which, here comes the Fire Warriors squad from Mavel. For some reason, they didn't send the crude carnivores ahead of them. Okay, there we go, I guess. Huh. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the hell is doing there. Anyway, there's not really anything else either. But we do have a little force of Necrons by Bavdav. We're going to have a second squad of Necrons. We've also got the Summoning Corps coming up as well to uh, meet this threat as well. So now there's sort of a curious troop placement. Normally you'd want your melee squads um, to go ahead of your ranged squads, especially when they're... Well, these fire warriors are basically glass cannons. That's what the hell. Anyway, as for Virus... Okay, he's going for a similar thing as well. So he's going first for a fire warrior squad, then with a uh, crude carnival squad, although he's got one hell of a delayed build though. I suppose... I has managed to put up more um, listing posts and all that, but still, and uh, not bad, even sending over a uh, builder here just for the hell of it, I suppose, maybe just to scout out if this um, point was being captured, which it certainly is. So at the moment we've got a bit of a uh, stance still by all of our prospective players. We've got a third squad coming out for our Necron player, but not really much else happening. I mean, we're just seeing these guys being very passive, to say the least. Um, given that it's a free-for-all, I suppose they're just afraid of, you know, Weakening their army too much and then having a third player attack, which is not uh, too um, insane of a concept, but what the hell. Here we go, finally got uh, Virus. Oh, what is this one? Got Virus. Ah, oh, that's the same guy. Whoops, never mind. Well, I've got Virus maneuvering a bit, and everyone is pretty much just standing still. No one's even bothering to cap. Oh, there we go. We do have um, one person capturing this point, and apart from that, not really much else happening. Everyone seems to be floating. Various resources and all that, build and all that, exploring various points. Both, um... Critical locations being captured, although, yeah, listing posts now just been captured by Mavel, who's, yeah, on the top right. There we go. So, yeah, we've also got the Gorse Tower and all that being built by Bavdav. Probably should be building a second one around here. So, ah, there we go, it really does, actually. Oh, yeah, well, there you go. Even upgrading his listing post and all that. So, hopefully, we're going to be seeing some sort of movement soon. And hopefully, it'll be better than that previous game we saw as well. So yeah, speaking of which, let's call it. Ah, oops. Got Vespid Sting Wings being brought forward, and Mavel is also sending his own Vespid Sting Wings. And they should have jumped them out as soon as he saw the forces he was up against, because, um. Really, they're not going to do that much damage. Speaking of which, even got Mavel coming in with the force of stealth suits, but of course, Virus's Vespid Sting Wings will be able to detect them, and these really, really expensive stealth suits will be able to, uh. Well, they'll die pretty quickly. Bam. So that's making rather exaggerated death sounds and all that. So, is Virus going to press his attack? Nope, he's not. He's just going to pop a few more units and all that. And that's about that. Yeah, he's just continuing to, um... Oh, there we go. He's finally taking up and yet yeah, just building crap loads of, uh... Power plants as well, or plasma generators. 
And speaking of which, okay, got this. Wow, really? Now that's something I see too often. Tower player Mavel is actually going for the uh, stealth cannon burst. What is it called again? The stealth burst cannon enhancement, which is something you don't normally see, given that um, stealth suits don't normally have very good weapons. Or very good anti-infantry weapons, that is. So they got pretty good uh, anti-vehicle, anti-building weapons, but their little burst cannon is just pretty crappy, really. And yeah, now Mavel's going to capture this listing post. Oh, sorry, he's going to um, build a listing post on the red because nothing much is happening. And it looks like we'll be fast-forwarding once again. So, damn, I was kind of hoping for a bit more, but... Um, oh, well, uh, thankfully we can fast-forward these replays. Oh, there we go. For second, we do have a couple of... Um, Builder scabs running around, a bit like a Benny Hill cartoon, or is it just a show? Actually, no, I don't think actually had a cartoon, it just had a show and all that, and yeah, they're going to be chased around, but of course, yeah, these, uh, <laughs> crude carnivores being stopped in their tracks, and at the same time, we've got uh, Mavel uh, lining up as well, so actually, it might have a combined attack by both, um, Tau players on the Necron players' base, by the looks of it, so I don't know, I haven't seen anything in the chat log, so that, that don't appear to have agreed to anything in game. But still, you never know, they might have talked beforehand or something like that. Or maybe they just say that, you know, a Necron player might be the biggest threat or in any case. In any case, yeah. We do have Bavdav moving his troops forward and backward, but um yeah, not really seeing too much happening at the moment. A bit of course started taking a few pot shots and all that, but it's really not much else happening. Finally got Mavel coming out with Pathfinder, so should do a pretty good job of attacking. Now we've got to destroy coming out for Bavdev, so he's going to go for more uh, vehicles and all that, as well as Immortals, despite the fact that there aren't any Immortals in the mix, and since we do have a bit more of a concerted attack by Bavdev, uh, sorry, not by Bavdev, by Mavel on Bavdev's base, we might just uh, slow things down a bit. So Bavdev being forced to defend on both fronts, and doing a pretty good job of it as well, actually. In fact, it should take out these um, Fire Warriors pretty quickly. And the Chassoy is pretty decked out in gold and all that, it'll Pimp, uh, sh pimp, um, what was it called? Fire Warrior, I suppose. Although, yeah, these, um, interesting stealth suits being used to pretty good effect, taking out the destroyer just like that. And this, given the amount of builder scabs that Bavdav has, actually, could he could afford to spare a couple of uh, troops. And what the hell, I mean, he does love the squad of mortals, isn't doing much at the moment, but, um, well, maybe the. We'll see um, these tower players making some vehicles or something at some point. So yeah, a bit of back and forth action. Having a look though, it looks like this critical location has also been captured by Mavel. So yeah, it looks like the tower players are slowly encroaching on our intrepid Necrom player. So what is he going to do though? What is he going to do? That's the question. So he's going to be going for the enhanced disruption field. Upgrade these Necrom warriors just a bit more and wow, he's actually using... Immortals for some sort of a scouting role or something like that. Might as well use the older scouts because at least they come for free. Oh, well, and yeah, he's finally building the uh, Necron Lord as well. He's also got the greatest summoning course. I suppose he'll be going up to tier 2 before you're not. And oh, here we go, he finally got a bit of a uh, counter attack by Bavdav. He's going to do a bit of damage maybe to the tower player, maybe not, maybe. Well, he's going to keep pressing forward in either case, although he does have a few Necron warriors lagging behind. It also bring up some flayed ones behind these fire warriors. Pretty good job in there. Driving them back at the same time, though, we do have these uh, stealth suits coming in by Mavel. So, don't really know if maybe he just sensed it or really actually just talking to the other guy. I don't know, maybe for some voice speak line or something. What the hell? And I've even got uh, crude carnivores coming in against the flayed ones, not exactly doing that well, but um, I suppose the, cru the um, virus, well, virus troops have been held back for the time being. See so which? Wow, look at that. These. Troops are ignoring, um, Varus's troops are ignoring Mavel's listening post. Wow, so they must be in cahoots, perhaps. Because really, I mean, it wouldn't hurt them to stay there for a few more seconds. Or maybe he just doesn't realise it, I don't know. In the case, we've still got um, the counter-attack on the right by Bavdav, and at the same time, there we go, finally got um, Varus moving in for the kill, and at the same time, we do also have Mavel moving into so Varus, Varus and Mavel. Good to think, eh? So the Forbidden Archive fighter being built, hopefully the Necron Lord will be a bit more useful. I mean, it can certainly deal with the Chronometron as well as the, um, the uh, Solar Pulse ability as well to stop these um, ranged troops from shooting. And is that what he's going to research? Yep, he's going straight for the Solar Pulse and there we go. So we're finally going to see him teleport somewhere. Okay, he's going to be teleporting right here, straight into Babda's troops. And yeah, it's just going to be doing a bit of uh, range damage as well. Also able to swat away Mavel's troops too, so not too shabby actually. 
And yeah, this um, Necron Lord, as you can see, is just uh, going to town on these troops. Virus seems to be um, in awe of, what, of what's happening because he seemed to take his sweet time in actually uh, responding to this. So yeah, it looks like um, Bavdav will be retreating for the time being, and uh, yeah, that's all possibly fading soon as well. But Bavdav is in a bit of trouble though. I mean, getting attacked on two fronts. And uh, not exactly the easiest of things to handle, but he seems to be handling it so far. Yeah, so we have still got this crude carnivores being a pain in the ass. The Necronaut has teleported back into the base with 35 HP, so pretty good control there by Bavdav. Same time, though, it looks like um, Avail is just sitting back to uh, lick his wounds, as it were. So, yeah, given the current troops of Virus, I think he's going to want to pull back, though, because given this amount of Necron warriors, he's. Yeah, I mean. Uh, these fire warriors aren't that fast compared to them, and especially if the Necron Lord jumps in and uses the Chronometron ability, which hopefully will be researched at some point. I mean, that already screw them over quite a bit. I'll screw over the uh, tower player, that is. I mean, what they really could do, with perhaps, is... Um, I suppose getting the existing squads, maybe they could uh, get a couple of those um, transports out. I can't remember what they call them. Barracudas, I think? Something like that. Get a couple of those out. Well, a couple of their hovering stealth transports out. The Tau, of course, have to have. And uh, yeah, just st station their troops in there to uh, quickly transport them around. But what the hell. In any case, we've got Bavdav also coming out with Tomb Spider and reviving his lost troops. And I suppose, yeah, this is what I suppose one of the advantages of um, playing in a defensive position like this, and especially warding off their attacks. Uh, being able, uh, well, as Necron anyway, and that's of course being able to harvest your uh, fallen soldiers and, uh, yeah, being able to recreate new squads as a result. But Bavdav certainly has no shortage of the Necron Warriors, that's for sure. And this is going to tier 3 as well. We should hopefully be seeing um, some more elite troops as well, such as uh, Pariahs and all that. And there we go, Bavdav is under a bit of trouble with um, Fire Warriors and all that firing as well. This one, this one seems to be hanging back for no particular reason. Oh, there we go, these guys are firing too. We should have gone with one short upgrade and one there. Leader guy, but uh, what the hell? Of Shasui. That's what the hell. And I suppose I'll do a good job in kiting uh, Bavdav's tomb spider. Though. He'll want to get a uh, stealth suit at some point. I'm not really sure what that'll happen to him. I guess they must have all got killed in the last attack. And uh, yeah, Bavdav not really doing the best. Actually, oh, very nice. He he's actually chasing um, Mavel's troops around. I don't know if this was, this was intentional, but he actually chased them all into. A, this little corner here, and um, yeah, now they're completely vulnerable to these uh, Necron troops who are just coming in. Yeah, the Tomb Spider doing a bit of uh, damage of its own. Although I don't know if really if the Solar Pulse ability was called for, given that they would have been um, most likely in full retreat anyway. But what the hell? Managed to do a bit of damage to Mavel's troops in either case, and speaking of which, Bavdav is up to tier three, so I'm not really seeing him building anything just yet. Just look at that tower players; they're still. On the uh, barracks path, it seems, or barracks text, so to speak, although they do have um, the uh, path to enlightenment. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, path to enlightenment. Enlightenment. God damn it. It's hard today, but anyway. So, yeah, I mean, not going with vehicles or anything like that at all, which seems rather bizarre, because I've only encountered one squad of immortals so far, which was uh, quickly dispatched, and they haven't really seen anything else. So, yeah, it looks like we're going to be seeing um, everyone hanging back for the time being. Hoping to see a bit more action on that, but what the hell. And yeah, Bavdav is just going to take that opportunity to um, harvest his troops and uh, yeah, create a few more. He's got more basic troops now coming up for virus. Bavdav's still not doing much, so. Oh well. Can you do it? There we go. That's something I see too often. A little mass repair of uh, scarabs there. Okay, we do finally have. Um, oh, there we go. We do finally have. Um, Mavel finally probing uh, a bit with his um, stealth troops and taking out this tomb spider as well, so I don't know what the hell um, Bavdav was thinking about that, but what the hell. And we've also got um, Virus probing in with his uh, own stealth, stealth suits as well, so come on, man, kid. Let's uh, see a bit more of a final showdown as it were. I mean, they come and they control the rest of the map, for God's sake. They've clearly ganged up on our Necron opponent, and yet they're still hanging back because. Oh, God knows why. In fact, let's just have a look. Yeah, they do have some resources saved up. Wow, they've got plenty of power saved up. Probably be a bit better off building a um, harbinger in that case. Drone harbinger so they could uh, make a few drones alone. And ouch, there goes the uh, Necron Lord as well. So Bavda, he did manage to do a bit of damage though. And he actually managed to get flayed ones up as well. For some reason, the virus is not reacting at all. It seems to be um, 
has trademarked this game not to react to our solar pulses that quickly and his troops are just getting torn up completely by Bavdav's um, flayed ones. Doesn't look like um, Fingamajingi Mavel is responding, and there we go, finally we do have Iris bringing back his troops. Not before suffering pretty horrific um, losses though. And really, I'm pretty sure these flayed ones and uh, reg regular Necrons can teleport back anyway, which is what they're going to do, given that, um, well, <laughs> down they go, but anyway, given that uh, Mavel is deciding to attack his uh, Obelisk, Obelisk, yeah, it looks like I got killed, but of course, yeah, plenty more Obelisks where that came from, even though I think these are all meant to be ancient structures and all that, but, well, what the hell, they can still be built just like that, like any other regular structure, I need to think. So yeah, a bit of a loss to have to have, um, lost his Necron Lord, but he's back up and running, who to think, and in fact, it seems like he's using the phase shifter ability as well, <laughs> interesting, yeah, there you have it. So we're just uh okay, okay that's interesting. Huh. Interesting stuff there. But anyway. So yeah, it looks like again we've got a bit of a stalemate situation. I just wish that these guys would give us a bit more action. It looks like Virus is going to be withdrawing entirely, so it makes you wonder if he's actually going to be going for um Mavel perhaps. So maybe he's going to I don't know. God that's what's going to happen. We'll just have to see if he attacks Mavel's base or if he's just going to hang back for the time being. And he's going to be seeding. Oh, then again, I suppose he can still suck the enemy using the uh, critical location, so he's just keeping his guys in reserve for the time being. And finally, we do have Bavdev moving out with his troops. Thank God for that. To do so much fast forwarding this round is just ridiculous, really. Almost as much fast forwarding as the uh, last time, actually, I commentated on this, um, on a game played on this map, but what the hell. So, yeah, Mavel not taking too much damage. In fact, I think they threw a grenade into the Nexron Lord. Throw a little pulse grenades, whatever they call them. Photon grenades, that's all the same. Fo throwing photon torpedoes for all that matters. But anyway. In the case, yeah, is, is um, kiting the Necron player a bit, but the Necron player is advancing forward and uh, finally got a ve vehicle beacon for uh, Mavel. God damn, so it took his time. Although I don't know if it'll come up in time though. Speaking of which, we do also have. I think that's the energy core that came up as well, so I think we actually. If rather Necron player captures this point, we might be seeing um, some super units from him in the form of uh, the Awakens monolith and all that. That's what they'll have to see what happens. So, Bavdav, yeah, he does have mass ama massive amounts of um, Necron warriors. And Mavel is not quite producing anything just yet, though, so. I don't really know what Mavel can do against this. What the hell? That's the Necron. Oh, wait a minute. Or does he have. Okay, I think he might actually have. Um, I think it's called the Shroud of Darkness or something like that, because he does seem to be turning, yeah, he's turning the rest of his troops uh, invisible, which is kind of funny. It did take out all the detection, it seems, for a Mavel as well, which is kind of funny as well, good that they're, they're using their own stealth units. Now, of course, all we need now is just a couple of um, squads of scarabs, which he's misusing, because really only one squad can build a uh, building at a time, but what the hell. Just a couple of them out and they can take out these damn... Uh, Scar uh, not scabs, these are uh, damn stealth suits as well. Speaking of which, we do actually have Virus coming in to do a bit of damage to Bavdav's base. He's managed to penetrate the photo. Okay, well, the Gorsk Tart now and also the um, listening post that was here is going to be destroying the Forbidden Archive, which I'm pretty sure has really researched everything it can for our uh, Necron Lord there. Oh, actually, that's interesting. We actually got a uh, Stealth transfer being built. That's the first thing being built by the Mavel. Interesting. And he's been going to be going for another one. So it's actually a devil fish. Oh, that's right. I think the Barracuda was another. The Barracuda was the actual aircraft being deployed by the Tau. Whoops. Oh, there we go. I haven't seen the Tau again for a while. So. Actually, I haven't seen Tau use aircraft in a bit of a while now, either now that I think of it. Oh, what the hell? We've got Flight Ones retaliating against Virus. So tearing up these um, crew carnivores and uh, wow. I think he's even setting his crude carnivores to actually uh, eat the remains, so they're not even fighting these um, flayed ones, that's kind of funny. And here we go, we've got fire warriors, oh, sorry not fire warriors, or rather necron warriors teleporting back in order to take out these fire warriors and these flayed ones, they do one hell of a job in demoralizing enemy troops actually, because they um, inflict morale do damage per enemy troop per flayed one as well, so when you have massive squads um, fighting against them, their morale damage just uh, goes through the roof really. So we do still have what the hell? Necron Lord using solar pulse ability. The only reason I can think of that is maybe to detect the stealth suits, but they're not using the uh, 
Necrom Warriors against the Mavis. So I'm not really sure what the hell is again. He's doing there, but um, what the hell? We do have a vehicle vi beacon being built in either case from Avell, although I don't think they'll really be able to do a bit of damage, I suppose. But we do have two Gorse turrets here, which should be able to make short work of them, especially if they're upgraded. As well as the Necrom Warriors are going to come up as well. So I'd say Bavdav could be a little bit of trouble, although I'm sure he can. He's going to be building. Um, no, I'm relatively sure he's going to be building. Um, Immortals at some point at least to deal with these damn devilfish and all that, but uh, yeah, I don't know, he's been a bit spotty with his detection and all that especially, I mean, Immortals are going to do so much if they can't even see their enemy, but anyway. And speaking of which, we've got these Necron Warriors going a little bit too far ahead of themselves, they're going to get shot to pieces actually, and finally have to have uh, leading his own troops in there. And as for Virus, he's not going to anything, um, he's not even going to yet, so uh, tier 3 or anything like that, doesn't have any vehicle yard up or anything at all. Not even a crude shaping center just for the hell of it, since he seems to like his carnivores quite a bit. Which is rather unfortunate, so yeah, I think we're just going to be seeing um steady push by our Necron player. Yeah, just to kill off our uh, Mavel's forces. So there we go, he's finally is sending a couple of builder scabs into the fight though, but he seems to be doing it in a bit of a uh, weird fashion though. Sending them first, letting them get killed a bit, and then actually sending um Warriors out, fire warriors, not fire warriors, but Necron warriors after that. So there we go, finally. We've got them coming after the Devilfish troop carriers. Bam. Should be able to take out these Stingmans as well, which are actually going into melee against um, Avell's troop carrier. Interesting how they're all going to get taken out. So there we go, nothing like serving the Necron player and uh, the uh, headquarters building is most likely going to get down as well. And okay, it's interesting. I'm really getting it. It's still being. Held by Mavel all this time, he still hasn't really done anything with that, which is just standing. And here we go, speaking of which, we do have Virus coming in to counterattack Mavdam. I mean, it seems interesting that he would get his troops to go through this midsection just as soon as Mavdam sends his scarabs to decapture this relic, but it won't do him any good in either case. These um, good old flayed ones are coming in, and uh, yeah, as you can see, they really do slice and dice and demoralize enemy troops as well. So it's just going to get torn up, one single one remaining, and uh, yeah, I guess he's just going to run on home and tell his commander what has happened. Well, that's not really going to do him any good. So yeah, Mavel's HQ has been destroyed, and yeah, it looks like really he's just completely screwed at this point. He's going to be making more devilfish troop carriers, which funny enough might be able to do a bit of damage actually, not to these troops because they're stealthed, but maybe to, um, I don't know, Babdaz's base, maybe. <laughs> Oh, there we go, you've got Essence of the Kantan Gods being researched as well by an Ekron player. So pretty, well, it's even more expensive than a fort, actually. So yeah, he'll be able to go with, um... I suppose he might as well turn the Necron Lord into a Nightbringer, really, because... There's not really much to do... To you... To, you know, not really much to attack with the, um... Deceiver. Of course... Let's not forget the, uh, some other things like Essence of Camile and all that too. If they need a bit more taste and all that, but... Well, not really, but anyway. <laughs> what the hell? We've still got a bit of a desperate defence by Virus, defending the Relic, but yeah, not really going to do much there indeed. So really, it all boils down to the fact that um, everybody was relatively passive. Well, Necron Plus has had a bit more of an excuse because he was playing basically two versus one. Problem is, though, Mavel and Virus did stay on uh, basic troops for too long, and uh, really their macro against these flayed ones especially was just so piss poor, really. I mean, just ridiculous. So which one they got? Okay, I think it's going to be sending them back to the uh, monolith in order to uh, summon them out of no moment's notice, it seems. Secret so doesn't look like the Necron Lord has morphed into any of the gods yet either, so I think it's just going to be doing that as a bit of an emergency measure. So yeah, I might just speed things up a bit, and yeah, it looks like Babdav has now got the obelisk as well. So who knows, he's going to go for a an awakened monolith, perhaps? Perhaps not. Or is it restored monolith? I think it's restored monolith, actually. Now see what happens in any case, and yeah, here we go, we've got um, a bit of counterattack by Virus, Necron Warriors teleporting, but to no avail, and yeah, there goes one, uh, yeah, Mavel has left the party indeed, but anyway, <laughs> there goes um, one of the tower players, the other one is uh, short to fully suit as well, so, I was kind of hoping for a bit of a closer game, because free for free for alls, they tend to be rather tricky, oh, what the hell, and whoa, actually, dear, this is the Deceiver being used after all, I <laughs> need to think. Summoning a thank of restored monolith, and this one still hasn't been morphed out yet, so probably wants to be morphing that out, or rather upgrading it at one point as well. So the essence of Deceiver is going to be um, 
shaking his fists in defiance, and yeah, there goes the attack one as well, there goes the listing post, and uh, really, I mean, I was seeing in fast motion because they're not listing much of a fight by Fires, which is going to be seeing as uh, buildings go down. Fires is going to fight to the bitter end, though, it seems. Here with a little green in there. Impacts appear uh, appearing, and uh, yeah, there he goes, so. Bizarre game indeed. See a bit more, but uh, what the hell? I suppose that's a good, it's a good example of how not to play as Tau, to say the least, especially against melee troops. So there you go. I hope I should be able to upload this game a bit later on today. And until that happens, this has been Damien Zidvich signing off.